Well, Darren, thank you. Um, a two-all draw today. What, what's your reaction? A game we should have won. A game that somehow the referees found another 90 seconds to add on. Um, a game we should have won. You think you're just about to get over the line uh, and secure a much-needed win. Where has all this time added on that's been that's come from? What was the explanation, Darren? Well, he didn't give one. He didn't give one. They don't have to give anything. They do what they want. They're sending off. It's, I mean, I don't understand this fourth official thing. He's there for a reason. I've asked him whose foul it is. He said, it's your foul. I said, tell the referee. He wouldn't tell him. You're, you're talking about you're referencing the, the Peter Vincenti challenge yeah, it's a disgraceful yeah. tackle on my player yeah. so I said whose foul is it he said it's, it's your foul I said have you told the referee he went no I went well are you going to tell him he went yeah I went why is he booking my player then I never told him I mean it's, it's we're fighting for our lives here for, for our uh, livelihoods and you get nonsense like that it's, it's, it's not excuses it's, it's absolute nonsense he's told me it's our foul and, and Craig's get booked and then they're sending off soft anyway yeah but the lads, I feel for the lads and, and the fans. You know, it was, we thought we were over the line, a much needed win, as you say. And um, it's just the way it's going at the moment. For whatever reason, the, you know, in particular today, the big man's not shining on us at the moment. Well, look, I mean, in the context of today, probably, probably won't feel like it now, Don, but <laughs> and I know you wanted the win, but a, a point, is it any consolation married to the performance? No, it's the win that we needed. The, the, the performance was a good one, full of determination. And I just said to the players, that's the minimum requirement. I thought they gave that last week. Again, we, again, we shouldn't have lost. Um, and it's tough at the moment when you lo- you, you know lose a goal in the last seconds like that. Uh, it really is. And the play, obviously, the dressing room is very low. And they must feel like they've been hit by a bus in there, then, yeah, Darren. I mean, I don't like seeing. I've just said that I don't like seeing players sitting on the floor. And we've got 18 points to play for. I do feel that if we get that level of, of determination and and some of the good football we played, I think I think we've got a, a good chance to get over it. And so certainly not a lack of. It's, it's, this is not um, a lack of effort or application. There was plenty of that today, Darren. No, I don't think it was. I think and some of the football we played was good. Changed the system. Worked really well. Uh, had two great chances in the first half, Andy Williams, two one and ones. And then I've you know, we've gone behind, we've come out and we've gone ahead. And we think we're gonna get the job done. Uh, but unfortunately not. Yeah, and to go back to your point about uh, Andy Williams, there, there's another a, a case in point. Two a couple of one on one situations, you think, well, if it's our day, they, they go in, don't they? Yeah, I mean the the two not bad saves, but Andy himself will probably feel that he should score both when you're clean through and a goalkeeper. Um, and they had a five minute period in the first half where they caused us problems but apart from that the goal's a bit of a, a freak to be honest um, and right on the stroke of half time yeah. as well you're probably planning your team talk at that point well yeah and, and then after that I thought we could have got a penalty Williams has got pulled in the box but it just wasn't me a day in terms of the deci- decisions but when you get to 90, 95 minutes and then you get to 96 minutes you think well that's it but of course they scored 96 and a half minutes I mean a tough Easter period Darren but at least now a full week to prepare for another test against Bury at least. You've, you've got that seven-day breather, haven't you, to, to regroup, to recalibrate? Yeah, and to, apart from the Chesterfield game, we've now got a, a good gap between the Saturday Saturdays, you know, and you know we've got Bury and then Wigan. So, we, yeah, we've got plenty of time to uh, to get our work done. You know, there's not such that, you know, apart from obviously Easter's gone now. After that, we knew that there would be breaks between the games. But... Uh, Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gutted really for, for, for the fans and the players today because it was a, a game we deserved to win. I mean, I remember speaking to you, Darren, you were, you were nine wins out of 15 from when you first arrived here and then there's been this drop-off. I mean, can you pinpoint one area where you feel that has gone alarmingly wrong or are we looking at a number of issues up to this point? Taking today's performance out of it, how do you look for that, that one thing where you think, well, it, it must be that, it must be this? No, I don't think, I mean, if I knew the answer, then it would have been sorted. In terms of I've got to look at all the overall pitch, I don't think it's one particular thing. Uh, I think there's games that we've played where we've deservedly lost and not definitely had enough shots at goal. I think there's games we've played where we should have won, today being one of them. But we just can't seem to get that win. And like I say, we're just not getting that low. And that, you know, today things have gone against us. Six games left after today, obviously. How do you see it unfolding now? I guess it's a terrible cliche, but everyone's a cup final, isn't it? Yeah, it has been for a while. And look, you know, we've got to fight like we did today for every point and everything we can get. But I've seen enough today to suggest to me that it's six winnable games. There's, uh, that's how we've got to look at it. We've got to, like you say, we've got time between games so we can really focus on individual games. 
go to Bury, it'll be another battle on, a, on, a, on a, a, another poor pitch and we've got to make sure that we, we deal with that side of things and, and still look to play football like we did today. And lastly from me, Darren, Luke McCullough brought back into the side today, how do you think he did after the... Outstanding. Outstanding. Uh, he had a nice holiday in Ireland. So he was, he, he was, uh, it was a hard decision to leave Middleton out because I thought he was one of my best players last yeah. week. But we, we felt that we had to look after their number 10. And McCulloch's a lot more defensive minded. I thought he was outstanding today. Many thanks. Thank you, Dave.